Hey guys, my name's Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I'm going to take you on a teardown and disassembly tutorial for your Inspiron 7506. Hopefully this way, whatever you're dealing with with your computer, whatever your goal is, you'll be able to see how to access the various internal components. So first of all, guys, power down your computer the correct way. Make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger. We're going to then flip it over to access your bottom case screws. So you have four screws along this edge, three down here on this edge, and then one on either side near the middle. Once all those screws are up, oh, one thing I forgot, these screws guys along this edge, they have washers in them or un underneath the bottom case. So they're not gonna actually come out of the computer. Y you can loosen them, but they're gonna stay um, in, in those holes just so you're not wasting time trying to get them out. But once you get your screws out, guys, take your small plastic pry tool, go across the seam all the way across and firmly but carefully pry up this bottom case. Try not to put your pry tool too far in. You could damage some internal components. Um, and also here, down here where I'm circling, that's a great place to once your uh, bottom case is mostly up, that's a good place to really grab it and get some leverage to take that bottom case up. One thing to note, guys, when you're removing your bottom case, right around this area, you're going to feel some resistance, almost like you missed a screw, um, which you obviously didn't. There's nothing there. But what that is, is this clip right here that's clipping down to your computer. Um, so that could make you feel like th there's a screw there because it's going to be hard to pull up. You could either just force it up or a good idea, as you can see, uh, the construction of that clip is bend your bottom case a little. Uh, put your thumbs in the middle of the bottom case, your other fingers on the outside, and, and just bend those edges up a little bit. That'll open that clip. It'll make it easier to take the bottom case off. After removing the bottom case, this is what we're looking at for the inside of our computer. So the first component I'm gonna show you how to access and, re and remove is your battery. And uh, the reason why is because a battery is a good thing to take out or at least unplug before doing anything in your computer anyway. Um, the idea is to get as little power running through the computer as possible so as to avoid damaging things. So to remove the battery, you have these two screws here, these M2 with the arrows, these two screws on, on the right side of the battery, this one in the top middle, and these two on the left. That will physically unscrew and remove your battery. And then your battery's plugged into the motherboard here. Um, this is a white plug, and it pulls down toward the battery to unplug from the motherboard. Now, as goes for everything that I'm going to show you in a computer, try not to grab the wire and pull. Try to pull the actual plug. So you can put your fingernails on either grip on either side of that plug, or you can use a pry tool or a pair of pliers, um, but you can pull it out that way and you can get your battery out. As a quick side note, guys, all the replacement parts for this computer, uh, there'll be a link below in the description. I'll also have it above. Um, that will take you to a link to all the various replacement parts for the 7506, but it will also show you um, some tools and supplies that I use, my pry tools, my screwdrivers. Also, when I work on a computer, I have it sitting on an anti-static mat. Either an anti-static mat or an anti-static bracelet also help you to avoid damaging things. So all of that will be a link below in the description. After you've removed your uh, battery, the next two components I'll show you are the RAM here and the solid state drive here. So your RAM, you have two RAM ports underneath these flaps. Um, as you can see, it's, it's a diagram on how to open a flap. I don't think anyone needs that, but um, after you open these flaps, just bend them back, you'll see your RAM. And the RAM is held in by two spring-loaded metal arms on either side of the RAM, one here and one here, one here and one here. The way you get the RAM out is you gently pry those arms away from the RAM, pry them apart from each other. Your RAM will release. It will usually pop up a little bit and you'll be able to unplug it. Uh, your solid state drive is down here near your right speaker. As you can see, there's a metal plate uh, guarding it with a screw here on the upper right and a screw here down bottom in the middle. After removing those screws, you'll release your solid state drive and then you can unplug it from this port right here. It's like a smaller version of your RAM port. Same idea, it just slides in there. You would unplug it by pulling it down. 
The next item I'll show you is your Wi-Fi card here. It's held in kind of like a small solid state drive. You have a single screw near the middle on the left and that will release this metal plate. And then all you'll have left is right in this corner under the metal plate are your black and white um, antenna wires. And those just snap onto the Wi-Fi card. So just snap them up by pulling them straight up and out of the laptop. That'll unsnap them from the Wi-Fi card. And then the Wi-Fi card will pull to the left to unplug from this port that's similar to the solid state drive port. The next component I'll show you guys right down here are your speakers. This is your right speaker. Wires coming all the way here, joining up to your left speaker. And these speaker wires go all the way over here and plug into your laptop right here. So again, just like your battery, don't pull on those wires to get your speakers out. Uh, you can see in your computer, there are two little white grips on either side of that white plug uh, for your fingernails or a pry tool again, and you can slide that out toward the bottom. Uh, this is your CMOS battery here. This is your motherboard battery. This is held on by double-sided tape, so you can just pop that off if you're looking to replace it. And it plugs in the red and white, I'm sorry, the red and black wires plug into the motherboard here, similar to your speaker wires, so that's where you would unplug that. Your power jack is right up here in the top right corner. In order to get your power jack out, you have to unscrew this hinge assembly because your power jack is underneath that. And then this plug again, you can see those two grips on either side to unplug your power jack. This is your fan and your vent and your heat sink that goes over your CPU here. Um, some of you may have a model with a GPU as well. That would be here in, in this little square chipset. And you see three holes for the three screws uh, where something like this, this assembly would be here covering your GPU. But for those of you like this computer, all you have is, is a CPU. So you would unscrew the screws above your CPU, GPU if you have it, and then your fan screws are here, here, and here. Um, the fan plugs in right here on the motherboard. You can unplug it the same way as your speaker wire. If you're looking to uh, replace your thermal paste on your CPU and of course the GPU, if you have it, there'll be a video link above, also below in the description on a quick tutorial showing you how to apply thermal paste. Um, you definitely wanna clean the old stuff off and you don't wanna put too much on uh, when you're reapplying. So there'll be a link there if you guys need that. So that was a nice quick tutorial guys on the main components in this computer that you can access. If you had any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time waiting for an answer. However, if you do need to leave me a question or comment, I do try to get back to those as often as possible. Uh, thank you so much for watching, guys. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.